Hello, welcome to Irons United for another Rhubarb Grumble with me, Alf Gasparos. What's going on uh, in the summer? And uh, basically not a lot. Uh, we've got uh, Ryan Fredericks, who's just signed uh, on a free, uh, which is all great. You know, a bit of competition for Zabaleta, but Pellegrini seems to have uh, had a bit of a fallout with uh, the board or Sullivan, who knows. Um, but it's the same old argument, poor communication, um, where's the money, you know, are they going to spend the money on transfers, uh, you know, we've been linked with so many different players and Twitterville has just gone crazy with rumour, speculation, as it always does. Um, where's the money? Sullivan, Gold, Brady, they're, they're all the same, they're, they're running it like a shower. Communication is crap and I've had my fill and, you know, so season hasn't even started yet. Um, where's the money? You know, you know, then we hear Lanzini is, you know, um, yeah, kind of got a severe injury. Uh, so basically, he's going to be out for months. You know, will he ever return to be the same player? Who knows? And then the rumours, you know, about whether Anatovic is going to go or stay. Um, do you know what? Whether players come and go, um, you know, it's beyond our control. It's whether. You know those who do stay or those who do come in whether they're actually going to do a job for us will Pellegrini even be able to sign any players um, where's the money you know I hate the transfer uh, week and I hate the uh, sorry window and I, and I can't be doing with all the rumors and speculations you know and, and people who think you know they know more than anybody else you know let's just see when these deals get done if they ever get done but here's a question if they don't get done we don't have big transfers, then where's the money gone? Um, where's the money, you know? Okay, this is the big question we've got to be asking ourselves, as we have been for the last two years. Where has the money gone? For the last, we've had two years in London Stadium, that's two years of Premier League football and the increase in money that's come through. We're not spending money, we have a very low net spend the last two or three years. So if that's the case, and we're not putting the money on, you know, transfers, and we, yeah, I know we've got a few players on high, uh, high wages, but then, is that money, surely, shouldn't that be going to pay off the club debt? So if it isn't going to pay off the club debt, then what's happening? What's happening to that money? Um, where's the money? You know, what's happening to that money? So again, you know, we had the accounts come out for, you know, the season before last. So let's see what happens for this, se this last season, uh, you know, and w what the accounts say then. Because really, there shouldn't be 50, 60 million pound a, a debt, you know, to this uh, Sullivan and Gold now. It should be a lot less, you know, unless they start putting money where their mouth is and actually, you know, start uh, buying these players. And all the, re you know, and again, it's the same old thing, you know, months ago. You know, Sullivan Gold, you know, the board, they said, right, we're going to have a direction of football in place and change the system and everything. Where is he? Where is this person? And again, you know, it's it's another crap communication from the club. You know, the fans are left uh, out in limbo. Don't know what's happening. Don't know who to believe. And it's all rumours and speculation. And it's just so, you know. So here's another thing. Um, the club have just announced this last week that we've got a new head of medical, which is great. New head of, oh, it's hardly surprising. Pellegrini is coming in and wants to bring new players, uh, new people in. But is this a Pellegrini appointment or is this a club appointment? Because the head of medical is a physio, which is fine. He's got 20 years experience. He's got lots of experience, been with lots of other clubs around the world and stuff, and in the Premier League. So you know he's qualified, head physio for sure. But with being medical, there's a lot more to medical than just physio. So surely you would have like a trauma doctor or somebody, a doctor who specialises in sports medicine or something at the helm. And then his right hand man or her right hand man or woman would be a head physio. That's be head of medical, wouldn't it? Not head, you know. Anyway, I don't know. Is this all again just paying somebody a little bit less? You know, so you don't have to, you know, so you don't have to spend the money on the most qualified people. You know, are we always going in for deals and then just trying to lowball these deals all the time and just, you know, get egg on our face the whole time? I think so. I think so. And nothing changes. Nothing changes at the top. You know, the board, um, Sullivan, Gold, Brady, they're, they're all the same. They're, they're running it like a shower. 
communication is crap and I've had my fill and you know so season hasn't even started yet the deals should have been done within the first two weeks of, of, of the uh, since the breakup of the season you know we should have had a direction of football in place the manager should have come in really quickly and then we should have had signings you know it's just been flat nothing there you know and it's just woeful anyway that's my rhubarb grumble for for this week for Irons United subscribe to them because they're really cool don't follow me on Twitter because it's worthless and uh, and uh, catch you next time on another rhubarb grumble cheers